Hello and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and tonight we'll be reviewing the latest release of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, even though we're late to the party, and that is A122. Let's get into it. So here is our bottle for tonight, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A122. Of course, one more in the series of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs, but I just got this last week because Kentucky's weird and I don't really understand distribution, but for some reason we get it later than everybody else, even though it's made here. I don't know how distribution works. Anyway, so this bottle, Barrel Proof Bourbon, uh, made by, you know, supposedly the father of bourbon, which is uh, basically not true at all. But you know, there's the crazy story of how Elijah Craig's uh, warehouse burned down or something. And then uh, by happenstance, uh, some barrels got charred and he was like, hey, they're still usable. Let's throw some whiskey in it. And then bourbon, supposedly. Now, probably none of that's true, but you know, nonetheless, we got this whiskey today and that's great. So regardless of story, we do have some awesome whiskey, or at least I hope so. Now, I have tried this some already, as you saw. It's been open about a week. Well, I opened it the day I got it, and that was a little over a week ago. So let's go ahead and get into this nose here and see what we got going on. Oh, oh that's good. So just super, super rich brown sugar note. Really nice toasted oak. Nice kind of burnt charred oak notes coming through which obviously you would expect on a bourbon, but these are just really nice, prominent, really nice caramel nose uh, going on there. Getting a little bit of like a sweet citrus, maybe some berries, I'm gonna say like raspberry, nice citrus note, like a really sweet orange coming through. It's not sour smelling at all. Um, Man, uh, really just nice oak notes, just really rich, sweet oak notes coming through. Nice vanilla, there's a really nice vanilla note, nice cream note. Nice like sweet tobacco, nice uh, chocolate note, more like a milk chocolate, not like a dark chocolate. Man, this is, uh, this is all of the notes that I look for in a bourbon. Uh, just excellent, excellent nose. There's a little cinnamon presence there as well, maybe a little hints of pepper. Let's go ahead and get into the thing that really matters though, and that's how it tastes. Here we go, first sip. That is a spicy gal, but in all of the best ways possible. So, lots of cinnamon, black pepper, uh, barrel spices, nice charred oak notes just right up front. I mean, you get them right away. And then mid palate, it's just very viscous, mouth coating, just coats the tongue. Just, I mean, it's almost like you're eating caramel candies uh, with some nice brown sugar and cinnamon mixed in there. It's, it's, it's very candy on, on the palate. Uh, there's also that cream notes coming through. There's also a hint of that citrus note. Uh, also that, uh, that kind of milk chocolate notes there. It's a little more subdued than it is on the nose, but it's certainly there. Nice sweet tobacco note uh, coming through as well. Uh, there's kind of that uh, leathery note there. It is a little bit drying. Uh, I noticed that in, in some of last year's batches as well. I would say this is not as drying as A121, uh, but there is just a hint of that kind of drying note. Let's go in for one more sip though and focus on that finish. Here we go. So I don't know if this is a thing that exists. This is more on the palate, not the finish necessarily, but I got this uh, kind of interesting note that time, second go round. It's, it was almost like peach pie if it were covered in cinnamon. There's a ton of cinnamon going on here, but like under the cinnamon, you get this like really nice kind of peach pie thing going on. That's really, really good. And, and you wouldn't think that cinnamon would work with that, but it actually works really well in this. On top of that, you're getting all the other notes we already mentioned. Man, that is just a great sip. Uh, interesting, for sure. Um, on the finish, lots and lots of barrel spice. Uh, it is just 
barrel spice bomb on the finish. So you're getting that kind of sweet spicy thing going on. So you get the, the kind of the general sweetness of the caramel and the brown sugars working with the cinnamon and the pepper notes and just kind of that barrel spice thing going on. The nice toasty oak notes uh, kind of almost get like this uh, charred uh, marshmallow because it's more than just slightly toasted. This is uh, a thoroughly burnt marshmallow, but you know, so you got, got kind of those, those burnt notes with the kind of the marshmallow note and kind of that creaminess going on. Man, that is just overall a great experience. Now it is hot. I have to say it drinks pretty hot. Uh, this is, a, what is it, 120.8. Um, so not crazy high proof wise, but certainly getting up there. Uh, but it drinks every bit of 120 proof. But now we have to score it. Now remember, we are going with the new scoring system this year. So, is it above average? Absolutely, it's above average, um, even at the price point. You know, so, and these things can range, so it's hard to say, so like, what's the price point exactly? So, you know, let's, so this should be $60. Um, and I've gotten them for $60, and I've also paid all the way up to $90. So, there's, that's a pretty big range, but I think even at 90, this does really well still. Um, I can't think of a whole lot of other bourbons I would rather have other than this and the $90 price point. So with that said, at 60, it's amazing. You know, when you, when you think about what else is at $60, you know, so you got like Maker's 46 cask, that's kind of in that price point. Uh, you got Russell's uh, single barrel, that's similar price point. And I think this, even though those are great bottles, Elijah Craig, year after year after year, batch after batch, just blows those away for the price point. So if you can get this at MSRP, I think, you know, not just this bottle, but really almost all of them is like, you know, an 8.9, pushing a 9, 8.8 .8 for sure. Um, but I realize that you know, most of us are not getting it for 60 bucks. So I'm gonna rate it, we're gonna kinda of cut to the middle of that, let's say 75. Still at 75, I still think this is a solid, I'm gonna go eight and a half, 8.5 is my score on this because I know that generally most of us are paying more than that. So at 75 bucks, I think this is still an eight and a half, a solid choice if you guys can find it, uh, I know I'm putting this out late, but if you guys can find it still, definitely a buy. Um, just, you know, add them to the collection. I try and get every release I can get. I think they're all great. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed this bottle, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. And here is a playlist of other reviews we've done. And here's the subscribe button right here, so do both those things. And until next time, folks, just remember, you can never have too much. Good whiskey.